so I do get this question on Twitch actually fairly regularly, which is like, how do I avoid burnout? If I am being burnt out, how do I like come back? How do I know that it's burnout? How do I get through burnout? And these are all really good questions. And for me, I feel like burnout has a lot of causes, a lot of factors, and there's no simple solution out of it a lot of the times. Sometimes I feel like there could be. And so I'm just gonna simply dig back into my past experiences where I really did feel that same effect and kind of the steps I took to change it. So uh, one of my very first jobs, it was actually a pretty simple job. A lot of the people just didn't have that desire, that fight in them to work really hard or even to just explore much. It was really just come in, you know, punch the clock, go out. I was using it to get experience, but within about three months, I just felt this soul sucking force because it was just so boring. It was so unhard. There was no challenge. The expectations were extremely low and it just was so awful. And that just led me to have this constant feeling like, ah, right? Like I'd go there and I'd give like 25% as, as much as I could muster. And I found myself desiring to play video games all the time. I desire, I just had this constant desire to distract myself because it was just crushing. And really what it came down to was being bored. And there was nothing I could do to change the circumstances. This was just the jobs. So of course, I started a dialogue with my boss and with my boss's boss, and we started talking about ideas of what I could do. But I knew for a fact that if I stayed, it was just gonna be hard. And I had a new offer at a new company, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. We're gonna see what happens. And let me tell you, I was certainly bent out of shape that day. It's not like changing jobs was easy for me. All right, I just got my very first house ever. I was nervous AF, and when I went to my new job, it was like a breath of fresh air. People were excited. Just the energy alone just can just completely change things around. And that soul crushing feeling I had for multiple months where I felt like I couldn't program any longer and I just hated it went away in like a week. So that's just something to consider. Like if you're in a position where you are just hating the things you're doing, it's just boring. There's no adventure. There's no danger. There's no exploration. It is just coming at nine, leave at five, hit the clock, can't wait for vacation days. I think you need a change. I don't think you're gonna experience anything but crushingness. I don't think people are really designed to sit at a computer feeling that way for hours upon hours every single day. Now, I don't think that's the only thing that can cause these problems. Um, I, I will say that there is other things that can definitely cause problems. Another thing in my life that this actually happened at Netflix, I found myself playing so many video games and kind of just pulling away from everything. And I really just felt a general malaise and unhappiness. And I honestly thought I was going to quit coding and I didn't know what to do. It was a really hard time in life. And that was caused because I put too much meaning, too much value. I put my validation in my job. And I think a lot of people, especially those young, you know, those, those new grads, those fresh out of boot campers, those self-taught people, they have some sort of like, you know, when I get this, that's when I'll be happier. When I get this, you know, when I'm working at a fang company at Dick Talk, at whatever you're working at, that's when I'll be validated when I'm valuable. And I know you don't explicitly say that, right? You're not like actually saying that or thinking it word for word. But if you check your heart, you might find out you're kind of doing that. And I feel like when you do that and you get to the job and you know what? It's just like every other job. You might get paid a little bit better, but you're just a cog in the wheel and you don't get meaning. You aren't validated in your existence and you will feel crushed. And it is really, really hard. And so for me personally, I just had to realize like the value in my life isn't my job. My job provides value. It can even provide satisfaction. I can be really proud of something, but it should not be where I place my hope. It should not be where I put my value uh, validation. It is not what makes me valuable is where I work or what I do for my job. And this was hard because I wanted to do the prestigious things. I wanted to do the best things, but I learned that, you know what? I just can't do that. I'm gonna ruin my relationship with everybody else if I do that. And this caused very similar feelings to burnout. For months on end, I felt like I couldn't do anything. I felt crushed doing any form of work. Everything felt like an inconvenience. And by simply changing my perspective, I did feel a huge weight kind of lift off my shoulders. And I once again became engaged after a little while. Another thing that really I feel like affects a lot of people, which is very hard to identify, is external circumstances. Now, uh, I, there was a uh, problem in my past, again, at Netflix, in which a completely external circumstance, nothing really to do with work itself, happened, and I just found myself having such a hard time. It's really difficult to quantify why you're feeling so terrible, but it just feels like 
everything is causing anxiety. Everything is building up. And so when you are handed a project, the project is not fun. It's not something that's engaging. Instead, it feels like yet another hurdle you have to get over and you feel all this pressure to perform and it just can be crushing. And this one's particularly hard because you can't really do a lot when it comes to external circumstances. External circumstances are just things that, you know, they happen to everybody. There are people, you will meet people that you have no idea what hellish thing is going on. And they just might kind of seem like an asshole. And you don't even realize like how much weight they have on their shoulders. So A, give grace to people that maybe aren't having, you know, aren't acting that nice, aren't being that good. But second off, hopefully you also receive that same grace and you realize and you can grow and you can eventually get out of that situation and you will return, you know, hopefully to normal. Now, I know a lot of you will say, oh, you know, burnout, you you just gotta take a vacation. You'll step away for a couple weeks. The reality is that if you're really experiencing some like just complete disconnect or fracture or bentness towards your job, taking a two week vacation isn't gonna change that. You're gonna come back and within three days feel the same. Stop trying to fix symptoms. Your burnout is not simply because you're spending time on a computer. That's almost never it. I have almost never met somebody that was just simply like, well, I just took a break for a week and it all went away. You know what? You probably weren't having burnt out. You're probably just simply tired of doing your job and you're kind of pissed off. You just needed a moment to relax. You see this a lot like uh, you hear all these things with fad diets, right? These people go on these crazy diets, lose all this weight, and within like three weeks are right back up to the previous weight. And why is that? Because they are fixing a symptom. They were not fixing the problem. They were not addressing what is causing these problems. And the same things happen to engineers. It just looks different. In fact, this happens to everybody in all forms of life. If you're experiencing these things, I strongly just recommend taking some time, thinking about what's going on, what external circumstances are causing you just to have like high levels of anxiety, you know, high levels of just issues or problems going on. Are you putting your hope in your job? Are you trying to get more than just simple satisfaction out of your job? You will not get that validation. Are your expectations all misaligned? Or are you just simply bored? You're not being challenged. You're living a life of mediocrity at all points. These things are going to get you. They're all going to add up. Sometimes it's multiple of them going on. But just take the time. Reflect on yourself. Think about what's happening. And then when you're done, just hit the sub button. Because I put my hope and my feelings in this one. Definitely won't feel burnt out. No, 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 no. Hey, thank you for watching. My name is The Prime Gen. Hey, hey, you can always just rub a little bit of coconut oil on it too. It'll feel good. Mm-hmm. What?